Welcome back. Today I will be sharing with you some small but useful modifications on diesel Volvos. First of all, we're gonna take off the cover. There is four clips that hold it. You use a bone tool. You press in the middle and with the bone tool you pry out the clip. That this is the way it works. The second option is to push in the middle and pull on the cover up to release the clip. And the cover is now released and we can pull it away. Once the cover is off, a few things that catch my eye. First of all, is the missing bracket at the inlet pipe over here. It's missing from the factory and the inlet pipe vibrates because it's a diesel engine, which is prone to vibrations. The other thing is this fuel system over here. These two parts are metal and they get rusty. It depends where you use your Volvo. And there is covers that are available for purchase and you can cover this rusty place and it's gonna look a lot better. Let's take a look at the parts. The two covers that I was talking about, they're Bosch made. This is the part number that you need to use. They're not expensive at all and you'll need two of those. The bracket itself, uh, Volvo made and the part number is shown. The bracket itself is metal, it's painted black and there is a rubber bushing in it. And you'll need also to get two bolts and this is the part number for the two bolts for the bracket. First of all we need to remove the intake pipe, 7mm socket to loosen on both sides over here and at the back over here next use some pliers to move away the retaining metal clip and then take off the vacuum line of the intake pipe now disconnect the connector from the heater at the bottom and also remove it from the bottom Now you're ready to pull up on the intake pipe and disconnect from both ends. Installing the bracket is uh, straightforward, just use the two bolts. Next install the two covers and the engine cover will just lay on top of those two covers nice and flush. Another issue that we notice is that the wiring loom is rubbing against each other over here from vibration. It's also rubbing against this plastic box at the intake and soon it's gonna make a hole in it. So we need to take care of it. We're gonna use some kind of uh, protective material that we're gonna cover and protect it from getting rubbed off. I'm gonna degrease the area where we're gonna glue on the protective cover. The result is that the box now protected by this vibration material and also the wiring loom is protected by this foam material. Both will be protected from being rubbed off by each other. Another place is the coolant pipe over here. We're gonna also protect it. So now those areas are better protected. And even if they're gonna be worn out with time, you can always uh, take a look and re reapply the material if needed. 
Time to reinstall everything back exactly in reverse order. And now just look at the difference. A lot less vibration is gonna be after installing the bracket and less uh, rubbing at the bottom where the wiring loom and the coolant pipe is. So I'm really happy with the result. Reconnecting all the vacuum lines. Once complete, let's start the engine and take a look. Step, put the cover back on and reinstall the four clips. The result, you can see now no more rust, just the nice two covers. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.